Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is creating a traffic light system, which you can see on screen now. So as with a normal traffic light, it's going to go from green to then amber, which it should do any second now, there you go, and then it will go to red, and then after it's been on red for a while, it go red and amber and then green. So I'm setting this up the way it is in the UK, so the order, the sequence, the timings, everything like that is for the UK rules and the UK roads. However, this is obviously incredibly easy to change and set up for what you want in your own country or for your own made-up country in your game, whatever it is that you want, it's incredibly easy to change. So this is what we're going to be going over and creating today, as you can see on screen here. So this is a timed traffic light system, which is very customizable, and I'm going to be continuing to, to advance upon the system, adding in different things in future videos as well. So this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing you want to do is you obviously want to import your traffic light static mesh, which you can see I have here. This is just one which I got off CG Trader. It's not the perfect one for this, especially for this kind of road, you would not see this at all. And although I'm doing UK traffic light system, this is by no means a UK traffic light, but it's just a free one which I found on CG Trader, which you can obviously use as well. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Once you've imported that in, we're gonna to want to create a blueprint. So we're gonna right click, go to blueprint class, create an actor, and then name this one Traffic Light BP, or whatever you want to name it, and open it up straight away. First thing we're going to do in here is add Static Mesh, adding in the Traffic Light, which we've just imported, which actually I don't think it has a proper name, so let me just do this like so. And now we have our Traffic Light in here, and you can obviously move it about, change the scale, whatever it is you want to do, just do that. And then once we're in here, you'll notice the materials for me aren't coloured green, amber and red. Now I've done that purposely, because what I've done is just set it to grey, and I'm going to be using lights instead of a material or emissive material. That's just because for me it is easier. Now you might want to do the same, or you might want to set these to the same colours as they normally would, but not make them bright so you can't confuse them for being on or off. But whatever it is you want to do, just set it up how you want. So again, what we're going to do is a light system, which I'd recommend you do anyway, even if you have these materials set up with the colors on. So for the lights, we're going to add a spotlight, like so, and I'm going to name this one Green Light 1. The reason why I'm naming it 1 is because with this specific mesh, I've got two sets of traffic lights here. And now what I'm going to be doing is, in the real world, these would be on different timers, obviously, because this is for two different roads, so they don't crash. I'm just doing it on the same timer just because that's how I want it, but it's very easy to set up and change if you want, which you can obviously contact me if you want more details on that, but basically you just duplicate the code, create a different timer and have them going at the same time, but obviously different timers if that makes sense. But enough of the rambling on, what we need to do is move this light into the position which we want, so let me just move it. This one is green, so it's obviously going to go at the top, however my umbrella has just crashed, so let me just restart. So very sorry about that, that's just an issue with Unreal Engine 5 and NVIDIA 20 series cards, or 30 series I think actually, I can't remember, uh, I can't remember which one I've got, but that's just a problem which they were waiting on NVIDIA to fix. But as I was saying, this is obviously the green traffic light, let me just rename this once again, green light 1, so this will need to go at the top. Now what I'm going to do is not have it pointing out towards the road, I'm going to instead have it pointing in towards the light itself. As you can see there, immediately now, it looks like it's on. When it was pointing out, you couldn't see the light. When it's pointing in, you can indeed see it. However, I'm going to change this a bit more again. So the outer cone angle, I'm going to set to 85. So it's just nearly upright, but not completely. And then move this in so it's only inside of this traffic light that we have here. As you can see, perfectly like that. I'm going to leave the intensity as a default of 5000. I'm going to turn off cast shadows. Actually, no, I might leave that on after looking at that actually, so I'll leave it on. Uh, for the one in the beginning, I did have cast shadows off, so if you didn't like how that looked, that might have been why. So now that is going to be a little bit better for you. And we obviously want to change the color to be green. Now I'm going to be using the hex colors of red, amber, and green for traffic lights, which I'll leave a link in the description down below to the website I'm using for that. But I'm also just going to write it in by hand, so you can obviously just copy that as well. So for green, they've got 008450, and that is the green I'm going to be using. You can see we now have a nice green traffic light there. Then I'm just going to copy and paste this, moving it onto the other light. Again, you don't need to do this if you don't have two, but I do, so I'm going to be moving it there as well. 
just putting it in the correct position that I want. So now we have two green lights like so. I'm going to select those, duplicate them and move them down into the amber position, renaming these amber light 1 and 2 and then also, also changing the color of these to be amber which for me is going to be EFB700 perfectly like that. Now we have amber. Duplicate these one more time, moving them down, renaming them, and then setting these to be the red color, which for me is going to be B81D13. Perfectly like that. And now we have our traffic lights set up like so. We're going to select them all and then just set their visibility by default to be false, so we can't see the lights by default. Now we've got this set up here. Now the reason why I didn't actually rename them is just because I'm going to go back to the one I set up earlier. And in actual fact, no, I will get rid of that one and I will just use this one instead, as this is perfect as well. So I've got green light 1 and 2, amber light 1, amber light 2, and then red light 1 and 2 as well. Perfectly like so. We've got our lights now set up how we want. So the next thing we're going to do is hit control space to open our content browser right click go to blueprints and we're going to create an enumeration click that there and this is going to be called traffic light color enum like so opening it up straight away so in here we're going to add the different sequences or colors that are going to be active on our traffic lights again i'm doing this based on the uk system i'm not sure how different it is elsewhere but this is how it is for me so i'm going to add a numerator naming this one green Add another one naming this amber another one of red and those are obviously the basic three and then another one is going to be red and amber so if you don't know what happens is green obviously is go amber on its own means stop red means don't go red and amber means get ready to go that's obviously a very basic way of wording it so we're going to save and close that as that's all we need to do in there back in our traffic light bp we just set up we can add a variable, naming this traffic light colors. And then the variable of this is going to be that enumeration we just made. And I named mine traffic light color enum like so. Compiling and saving that. And then with that done, we're gonna to go to the event graph and we can start setting up some of the light changing now. So what we're gonna do for this is to keep it nice and efficient and contained is we're gonna create some functions. So we hit the plus function here, naming this toggle green lights and we're going to add an input in here of on question mark and leaving that as a boolean so are we toggling the lights on or are we toggling them off and all we need to do here is simply get our green lights drag them in and out of the assist we're going to set visibility connecting that into there and then connecting on into new visibility because if on is true we want to set the new visibility to true as well so we can see them and that's why we set the visibility of the lights to false at the very beginning is so they're all off by default and then when we start we'll just turn them on or off according to what we want and it's that simple so now we can right click on the function and duplicate it with this one now being toggle amber lights and then we can just drag and drop the amber light onto the green light to change it over very simply like so and that's all we need to do right click duplicate toggle red lights and this is obviously the final one changing this to now red instead of amber compile and save and now we can turn on and off our traffic light colors as we wish so how do we actually want to do this well this is also nice and simple so we're going to delete active begin overlap and event tick and instead right click add custom event naming this one set traffic light color like so in this we're going to add an input naming this one traffic light color so what do we want to set it to and this boolean is obviously going to be our traffic light color enum we just created so i'm going to be saying traffic light color today quite a lot but obviously that's what we're setting up out of this what we want to do is set our traffic light color enum that we have inside of this blueprint now we're not going to be using that today However, for a future video I'm going to do, this is going to be important, which is why we're setting it there as well. Then out of this, we're going to get a switch on enum, so switch on traffic light color enum, like so. 
So basically, whatever we set it to, we're going to do something different. So if we set it to green, we'll do something for green, amber, red, red and amber, so on and so forth. And obviously what we want to be doing is turning on and off different lights. So out of green, what we're going to do is toggle green lights and we're going to turn them on. After this, we're going to toggle amber lights, turning them off. And after this, we're going to toggle red lights, turning them off as well. So when we go to green, we're turning green on, amber off and red off. Now you might be wondering why we're turning those off if none of them are on anyway. And that's because it's basically going to be going in a loop from green, amber, red, red and amber, green, amber, red, so on and so forth. So eventually when we go to red and amber, we're then going to go to green. So we want to turn off red and amber up here as well. So I hope that makes sense. Then underneath this, off of amber, we're going to toggle amber lights to obviously turn them on. And then after this, we're going to turn off the green lights as we've just turned them on up here. So turn off green lights perfectly like so. Then red, we're going to turn on the red lights. You obviously know what we're doing now. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Turn on red and turn off amber as we've just turned them on before like so. Then for red and amber, what we're going to do is just toggle amber because red is already on here. So we don't need to do that one. So we can just turn on the amber because red is already on like I say. So this is now going to turn on and off the correct lights for what we want like so. But that's not all we want to do. We want to have this set up automatically timed. So what we're going to do as well is hold down D and left click to add a delay up here after toggle red traffic lights off of the green switch on the enum. And if we've completed, we're going to set traffic light color. After green, we obviously want to go to amber. So we're going to set that to amber there. Now this delay is going to be how long we want the green light on for. So for me, I'm going to set that to 10 seconds. However, actually what I'm going to do is right click it, promote it to a variable and name this green light duration like so. And I'm going to tick instance editable so we can change it for each individual traffic light we have in the game, which is why I'm setting it up. But I will make sure the default value is of 10. So if I don't change it, it's just going to be 10 seconds. And then again, set it to amber afterwards. Then off of amber, what I'm going to do is delay setting this duration to three seconds. And then after this, set traffic light color to red because after amber, obviously it comes red like so. Now, the reason why I'm setting this one to three and not making it changeable is because in the UK, amber, when it's going from green to amber, that amber stays on for around three seconds. I think it's like 2.7 or 2.9. So I'm just going to say three. That's why I've got that one like so. Then off of red, what we're going to do is the same one off of green. So the delay with the float and then instead of going to amber, it's going to go to red and amber like so because after red comes red and amber. And what I might do instead of the green is promote to variable and have this as red light duration making sure this is again instance editable like so. Commonly these will be the same but they might not be. For example if it's a main road meeting a minor road obviously the main road is going to have priority so that green will probably be on for longer than it will be on for red if that makes sense. So that's why I'm doing that as well. And then after red and amber we obviously want the delay once again and then set traffic light color this time going all the way looping back to green like so. And the duration of this I'm going to set to two because again in the UK the amber when it's on red and amber that amber is on for two seconds or both the red and amber sorry are on for two seconds and then it goes back to green and this is all we need to do for setting up the automatically timed traffic lights so that works perfectly the final thing we need to set up now is just actually starting this so what color is it going to go to by default so to do that we can go back to event begin play up here and off of this, we can just set traffic light color. And then whatever we set this to is going to start the system in there. So if we go to green, it will start from green doing that perfectly. Red, whatever it is, it's going to do that perfectly how we want. So I'm going to right click this, promote to variable and set this as starting color, making that also instance editable like so. So we can compile and save that. Now that should be the code done for us. So we can close this and then drag it into the level like so. So we'll drag and drop it into the level like so, and then just move it where we want, like this. 
So this is where I want to have it. Again, obviously it's not perfect for this road. In fact, this wouldn't happen at all, but this is how I want it to be. So I'm gonna set the green light duration to 10 seconds, red light also to 10, which I forgot to set as the default value for that. So let me just do that now. Red light duration, 10 seconds, compile and save. Again, green light duration 10, red light 10, starting color green. Then what I'll do is duplicate this, move it over to the other side of the road. Again, this wouldn't happen. I'm just doing this to give you a preview of what it can be and what it can look like. Have this green light duration as four seconds, red light duration as two, and the starting color being red. So now we should see something which should work as well. Let me just rotate this into the correct position like so. So like I say, let's now see what this looks like. This also isn't in the right rotation, but now it is perfectly like so. In fact, let me just move this into the middle of the road just so I can preview it a bit better. So let's hit simulate and you'll notice this one's starting on red, that one's on green, and they have different lengths as you can see here as we set them up to be different. And the reason why I've done that is because in different parts of your map, different roads, you want the systems to be working separately and individually and not be on the same timers. So that's why I've done it like this. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've set up a timed traffic light system which will work automatically going through the different sequences which you set up, which again, you can obviously change. You don't have to do the same one I've done. And you can also set it up to be on different timers, starting on different colors. So it's all completely different and unique from each other. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.